John McHale Jr. is president of the Detroit Tigers, a man who knew the ballpark as a boy and is building the new stadium, Comerica Park, in downtown Detroit. John, you know, of all the people that, that we're talking to, uh, you above all are responsible for the new ballpark here. Let's not kid about it. Let's not be modest. You're the one that's pushing this, uh, this whole project. But I know that you have some very, very deep feelings about Tiger Stadium. Joe, it's uh, the, the uh, original concept of a stadium in my mind and in the minds of my five brothers and sisters. It's the first place where we came to see a Major League Baseball game. All right. Now, your dad was the general manager in two years, I guess, 57, 59, something like that. And I, I know you didn't actually grow up in the ballpark, but what memories do you have then when your dad was here and he was in the front office be before being the GM? What kind of things do you recall about this place? My, my dad was, uh, uh, he began as an assistant in the minor league department and then uh, moved on to uh, various other posts in player personnel and, and uh, became general manager in 1957 and served until 1959. Uh, he and my mother uh, treated a trip to Tiger Stadium for us as a special occasion. And uh, I, I can recall uh, being here maybe four or five times a year and uh, it, it, it was uh, extraordinarily special for all of us, especially uh, growing up in Detroit with, uh, in, in the mid-50s with all of the interest in uh, Tiger baseball at that time. The, the thing that impressed me more than anything else was the sense of otherworldliness that occurred as we came into the stadium. At that time, the uh, uh, motor access, the, the car access for front office people was into what is now the Tiger Plaza and there was a, a gate which was raised and it, it was as if you left the street and entered a building which was uh, to a seven-year-old or an eight-year-old uh, largely unidentifiable from outside into a wonderland. It, it was uh, inconceivably joyful for us to be there because of course we love baseball and we love sports and we love being with our father. And we would come up the back elevator and, and try to behave as, as well as we could and then move with my father through the offices and, and then down into the seating bowl. And, of course, th the overwhelming impression in walking out was of the great expanse of green grass surrounded by this uh, courtyard of stands uh, topped off by what was then the, uh, the AC Delco uh, sign on the scoreboard in center field, which lit up uh, when, when home runs were hit. We sat down low, typically, uh, someplace uh, off of third base and we used to pay special attention to uh, Reno Bertoya who was the third baseman at that time watching where he positioned himself and uh, what he was doing and, and devoting way more attention to him <laughs> than, uh, than he needed or wanted but we, we watched his every move. John, uh, your feelings about uh, the ballpark coming down, you know, uh, I'm not saying you're the guy that's destroying it, it has to happen, we, we all know that but uh, your sentiments about thinking that uh, this is the end, uh, the future is the next century, and you're, gonna, you're building a good-looking ballpark. I'll say that, a little commercial here. But uh, your feeling about this ballpark uh, no longer in existence? Well, it's, uh, it's bittersweet, Joe. The, 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 there's no doubt about it. It's, uh, it's the passing of a relative. Uh, but uh, God and men make things that uh, can be beautiful and can serve their purposes, but n nothing lasts forever. And the uh, facts are that this community has changed and this game has changed. And uh, the circumstances are such that if the game essentially is to be a part of the city in the next century and to be healthy, it's got to go to uh, Comerica Park. That doesn't make it any, uh, any easier or more pleasant to th walk around and think that uh, soon this uh, site, uh, which has been home to baseball for over 100 years, will, will, uh, will soon be that no more. But uh, we, we just need to enjoy it and, and uh, feel proud for what it has meant to the game and the city and uh, resign ourselves to go forward in the best way we can so that the next site has, has an equal history 100 years from now.